need you need to turn from all sin. If there is one sin in your life, you need to repent of that sin and ask God to forgive it. If you die with that one sin, you will go to hellfire. But right here, Paul says, I'm defending Christian obedience and I'm mandating it because you won't get to heaven without it. Repentance is when you forsake your sins. What does it mean to be Christian, to be Christ-like, to be a follower of Christ, to be an imitator of Christ? Sinless perfection is what God requires. God requires sinless perfection. Holiness is still right. You gotta be without spot, you gotta be without blemish, you gotta be without any sort of wrinkle. That means you gotta be without sin. No, are you a sinner? No. You're not a sinner. I'm a saint. Then you're a liar. There's more to it than just simply accepting the office of Christ as a redeemer and just saying, I received that gift, but now I'm not going to stop my sin. I'm not going to separate from, I'm not going to obey him. I'm very thankful our president actually acknowledges Billy Graham. That's a blessing. You're just envious, that's all. You're just envious. I am. Psychologists call it penis envy. You're just spiritual envy. You just despise anyone like who's not like you, that's all. But the first thing I just want to mention is, is that um, no, we do not believe in a works-based salvation. We, we don't believe that a man does good works and earns his salvation. There's, that's not the way that God designed salvation. It wouldn't even make sense because it would bring glory to man and not glory to God. You know, and so, so God actually had to, had to justify the ungodly. He had to, you know, he had to go forth ahead of us and, 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 and really, you know, do the work that we couldn't do. To teach us really how to 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 work what was good and, and to have, have you know this this, this obedient life. You've got to be connected to Christ in obedient living. Obedient disobedient living will sever you from Him. I believe my preaching is so important. Make no mistake about it. We want global domination. Okay, that's what the street preacher movement is all about: global domination with the gospel. Everything you know you should be doing, you should be doing. Everything you know you should not be doing, you should not be doing. You should not be doing one thing you know you shouldn't be doing. And you should be doing everything you know you should be doing. He that knows the good that he ought to do and does not do it to him is sin. Stop sinning. Stop breaking God's law. Start doing what you know is right. 